everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome back to another episode on Bridal Style 101. So in today's episode, we will be talking about the collection for 2019, Parisian. So as usual, Jimmy is here. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Okay, so he will be with us all the way until the end of this Bridal Style series. So okay, the reason why we're doing this video as usual, it was because we wanted to do a countdown for modernist. So yeah, we really cleared the modernist part. So today we're going to continue with the 2019 collection. So Jimmy, maybe you can share with me more about back then, uh, maybe how like you got inspired. The purpose we do Parisian is because uh, I think that time, most of the dresses is consumed of a lot of lace. Mm -hmm. So the lace, of course, like when people talk about lace, it'd be about like uh, French lace, like different like cotton lace that people would think that lace came from French. Ooh. So Parisian is actually, it's a French word, like Paris. Like. Paris, oh, okay. Mm. But because Jimmy, if we actually spoke before also, right, I realized that I mean, all gowns have lace, but what is the, I guess, the unique point of Parisian, like on their laces? What is so special? Parisian is the collection is more towards the full lace, so you can see that most Ooh. of the dresses is get fully laced and then beaded as well. Oh, yeah, so it's not like Sometimes like, when we do dress, it's like we kind of tear the lace on the, the brick like. Oh, okay But Parisian most towards is like the, all the dresses is like in full lace Full laces, like yeah. it's not just about patching like mm. laces to laces mm. So this must be a lot of hard work right? Because since it's a big piece of lace, mm. it's a bit harder to control when you're sewing yeah. it all together the pattern, like, when you pattern the lace, because lace pattern is repeating Oh, mm. yeah, I so see So I have to like when you cut the laces, you have to make sure like Mm -hmm. It all matches well. Oh right. So for the what about the evening gowns? I noticed that for this uh collection, right, the evening gowns are also quite unique, especially with this current maroon dress that we are showing. It's like ah yeah, which is like a cross back. Um, I mean, what gave that idea to design this specific mermaid? Or oh, is this a mermaid cut? Yeah, this is a mermaid dress, mm -hmm. full lace mermaid dress, and we have very long back. Mm. So when we designed this collection, we want it to be like we want our bride to feel like, like very effortless, oh. like you like you know like Paris women they are very chill, uh. oh. so you yeah, like very like high fashion is that like, that you just grab a dress on your wardrobe mm -hmm. and walk down the street. Uh, so the effortless, oh. yeah, although it's a full lace dress with a lot of like buildings and details, mm -hmm. but it's just like like we wanted this bride to look like uh, she's she had very high fashion taste. Yeah. So she just grabs something from the wardrobe and then yeah. just attend the dinner. Mm, so she like, in a way, she don't need to dress up so much. She just yeah, looks so beautiful and Yeah, it's not like purposely glam. dressed up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, the concept is very unique. Wow, this one is also quite grand. Like, quite, like a lot. Is this like crystals or is it mm, beads? Or? It's a full crystal beaded dress. Wow. Yeah, so every single bead is uh, sewn by hand. Wow. How, how long do you take to actually complete this gown with your team, with your gown designing team? The design part is fast, la, but the application parts, uh, we, we have all these aunties that help us to solve the things. So oh, okay. So, I mean, at least of professional course... Professional aunties. Oh, <laughs> like you guys have some helping hand. La. Yeah. Then, okay, maybe... Uh, wow, because honestly, the this gown is a collection of the fabric also look very nice. Like, what about this one? Is this itself a fabric? And then you guys just like sort of make it into mm. a dress. This, actually, the dress is uh, mm. uh, in silver colour. Oh, okay. So the top part will actually like dye it by like, like colors. Like. Wow. So it have the gradient effects of the dress. Like. Oh, with like a, of course, like a clothing dye. Like. Mm. Wow. Do you need to like, sort of like, is there a lot, a lot of effort, like, a lot of effort to actually Definitely dye? Definitely, every collection we do, we put a lot of effort. Wow, so much hard work and love and sweat, mm. right? Jimmy, maybe uh, we before we actually go to the famous wedding couples mm -hmm. uh, portion, right? What is something, uh, I guess, the most distinctive or the main highlight of Parisian? Mm -hmm. The feature like, of each and every one of the gowns? Well, this collection, because mm -hmm. it's like Parisian, so mm -hmm. we are focused on like dark colours, we dresser. dress uh. mm -hmm. Then for the men dress, usually it's like bigger for a print mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. terms of the lace. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, uh, we glam it up with beads, sparkles, effect. So you have the mm -hmm. very like, grand effect. 
on the dresses. Well. Right. Mm. And also because I, I don't know, maybe during the, the style shoot, the catalogue shoot, it was in a hotel, right? May I know what mm. hotel is this? Oh, back then the the shoot, I remember it's done in this uh, place mm. called Six Sense. Oh. Yeah, but I think the hotel is no more, no longer exists in Singapore. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's usually nearby our shop. Right? Wow, so that's they have shame. very nice interior. Mm, mm, and then yeah, you can see from the catalogs. So. Wow. And the vibe that like, it suits our Harrison collection. Yeah, it feels very European. Mm. Like, like, as you were sharing, like, like these gowns, like the models, even they wear, it's like effortless. It yes. feels like they are getting ready for like a grand date, mm. like on a date, yeah. Yes. So it's, yeah, I think it's a very unique piece. Um, okay, so thanks Jimmy for sharing with me, with us, you know, about the gowns and how it was made. So for our next segment, we'll be talking about the famous wedding couples. Mm-hmm. And in today's famous wedding couple, we'll be talking about Justin Bieber and Hayley Baldwin. Ooh. Not all people like Justin. Yeah, I... Don't but I remember her dress is from Oxford. Yes. Thank you, Abu. Correct. Wow. Wow, Jimmy. Kina, kina. Credits to you lah. Yeah. But actually, she also has one from Vera White. Is it? I think no. Let me think. Oh, I think they... I think she asked around lah. Like from all the designers. Then they, they actually designed one specially for her. Mm-hmm. Like a mock-up. So I think in the end, yeah. She picked the one, uh, the off-white one lah. So this is her gown. I think it's very chic. Yeah, very chic. Yeah, I with think the they also copy our ideas with the ladies with the Paris. Yeah, copy eh. That one, how ah? Masu already ah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I also... I th- wow, okay, actually her body is very nice. Ah, so mm-hmm. that's why she wears also very nice. So this is also, I think uh, one, the one that she wore, it was mm-hmm. a mock up first lah. So, I mean, as we all know, Justin Bieber is a singer with Hayley Baldwin. She's a, she's a model mm-hmm. So she's like pretty good friends with Kendall Jenner. And yeah, so they first met in 2009. Mm. And yeah, they, they actually like if I'm not I read the article they were like childhood friends. Oh. Yeah. Then afterwards Justin Bieber dated Selena Gomez and then they yeah like, they, they had a crazy, like quite a messy breakup. And after a while he actually went with Hayley and they got uh and he proposed to her on July 2018. Yeah, so but I think there was also a bit of like a break and patch also like in between mm-hmm. the, the two of them. Yeah. So then finally they they That's actually amazing. They actually got uh, married, okay, in September 2019 in the Bahamas. Yeah, they had a wedding at the Bahamas. So yeah, I think, okay, that's pretty like cool. But the dress is very nice. Okay? Yeah. The dress got the wedding. Wow. It's very, um... It's the, very off-white. Yeah. Because off-white always have very like all these big words on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even the logo is on the dress. Yeah, wedding dress, yeah. I mean like it's a very, how to say, it's a very unique taste. Not everyone would want a wedding dress yes. written on their wedding dress. Something but it's like very that. signature la. You can tell the dress that it's from the mm, yeah. I mean, will you, will you design gowns like that also? Like with this kind of very like signature like words on the gowns and all this? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so of course after finishing um, the part about the wedding couples of the year Thanks Jimmy for you know being part of this video as usual so, so yeah, thank you so much guys and of course stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye Bye